Welcome back to this DC Universe Online Let's Play. You're with Sambo and Blaze Purple. And finally, folks, we've made it, obviously, to level 30. And we've also made it to the Watchtower because it's time to start checking out all the new content uh, that arrived in the most recent patch, namely things like um, the Auction House has been enabled. Uh, we've got new alerts, new duos. Uh, we've got a number of things open to us because we've hit level 30 um, new arenas um, we've got raids we've got uh, vents we also have things like daily quests that are picked up here in the watchtower which I'll show you but first things first let's get to it oh and we also have to respec which I know a lot of you are looking forward to that because we'll probably um, either change or add to our weapon set um, so it's time to rebuild blaze purple from the ground up but in the meantime um, it's time to try and find the auction house now the very first challenge you're going to have in the game uh, when you want to find the auction house is finding the auction house uh, I have found it incredibly difficult um, in fact I had to ring Roman over and say help where the hell is it because I wandered around here for what seemed like hours and hours so I'm going to make it nice and easy for you best place to start is the monitor womb here um, and you should all know where that is um, just to make sure you do it's where Martian Manhunter and the Huntress are so here we are um, and actually we'll get to what we're seeing there in a minute actually no we won't we'll talk about it now very quickly before we get to the auction house what you'll come across all over the watchtower and I've uh, already come across about 10 of them are these terminals with quest marks on them and basically what these are once you hit level 30 are dailies so just like WoW they're daily um, uh, I can't remember whether they're solo or group I think the majority of them are solo anyway from what I can tell in my quest log um, these dailies so they'll change every day and they obviously give you heaps to do and they reward you with well I don't know what they reward you with these things here which are half off the screen and have no flavor text so bad bad Sony that's really terrible programming I don't even know what I'm going to receive what I do know uh, is when we complete a daily whatever this is is a it's a currency for purchasing the uber gear so if you've ever wandered around the auction uh, around the watchtower and come across vendors which have all the super elite yummy gear uh, that's faction based uh, and token based it's these tokens that you get from your daily quests that will enable you to purchase that gear so that's an important thing to remember do the dailies and of course in upcoming episodes we'll be doing each and every one uh, we'll do one per episode so that you can see what they're like so in this case this one's called Toyland Toy Man plans to turn a strikers island into his own private doll dollhouse using his toys and a powerful new prototype show him that you're no plaything and shut him down so we have to travel to striker island so we'll accept that now if we go to my quest log like I said I've been wandering around the watchtower already collecting up all the dailies I can and you can see here any of the quests that are labeled as watchtower are dailies and there's quite a few of them now there's another three there uh, there's another two three so that's six we've got six and if we scroll I've got, I've got so many quests in my log 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 I've got about 12, 13 odd watchtower daily quests so for example here's another one we have to travel to Ace Chemicals um, and this one actually lists what the token is in this case it's a mark of triumph and it says oh okay it says it costs 10 marks of allegiance so I presume those red ones we were just looking at before are marks of allegiance anyway as it says use these tokens to purchase iconic battle suits so that's where that currency comes from so we'll have a look another look at another daily um, okay this one is to do with Hawkman and Hawk Girl in the containment facility and again we get a mark of triumph and the containment facility is actually if we go to the map of the watchtower see over here where I've got highlighted there's a doorway there um, right at the east wing of the watchtower there's actually an instance in here and that's called the containment facility and that's where we'd go to do that quest um, let's have a look at a couple more what do we got here no laughing matter T.O. Morrow so Joker's partner 
has taken over Ace Chemicals, so that one's another Ace Chemicals one. It's all the rage. What's this? Strikers Island. Uh, what's this one? Home Sweet Madhouse. Join Batman at Arkham Asylum. So that's pretty cool. If you've played the Arkham Asylum game, uh, you'll know that it's a very cool place to be. And not only are we receiving these um, uh, tokens for iconic battle suit purchasing, but we're also getting some cool, unique rewards from these dailies as well. So obviously at level 30 you want to be doing a whole bunch of different things, the duos, the raids, uh, doing the vault, um, but you know having all of these dailies means presumably they're different every day, uh, you're going to have a whole bunch of things to do. So once again find these kiosks, they'll have a quest mark um, above them um, and they're all over the place so make sure that you explore and you'll find heaps and heaps of content to do. Anyhow, back to what we were originally doing, which is trying to find the damn auction house. Now, as you know, I'm no fan of wandering around the watchtower because I think it's really poorly laid out and hard to find anything. But basically, here we are at the monitor womb. To the south of the monitor womb is the Justice League Hall. And in there, as you can see, uh, is Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman. So hopefully you know where I am. Now, actually, what's this for? Hmm. Okay, that, that's for nothing. I know that at some point we're going to be able to get inside there. I'll just check if we can do that already. I'm not sure if it's something we can do when we hit level 30. By default, it doesn't look like it, because obviously I'm at level 30 already. And I thought maybe we'd be able to gain entrance in there because we're level 30. And I presume that this is the doorway in. But I've got no option to get in. So maybe, hmm, not sure, maybe we need more rep or something. Anyhow, now that you've got your bearings, once again, the monitor womb up there. That's where the picture of the globe is. The Justice League Hall there. If you look underneath the Justice League Hall, like directly under it, you'll... Uh, end up in the war room etc if you go in there but if you go down one more level to this little doorway here and you wander in we're now in the broker hub basically so in here as you can see there's all sorts of players and each one of these terminals is a broker ie an auction house so we're now in the broker room so I'm going to do that one more time, just because I'm nice, and just because, oh boy did it take me forever to find that. I was going too low, I was ending up in the war room, uh, I was going too high and ending up getting lost. So, point of reference, the monitor womb, and the Justice League Hall, point yourself straight down here, in this doorway, and here we are in the broker room. Alright, so... Uh, like I said, the main pur purpose of today's episode is to understand how the auction house works. I have not opened this before, so I'm going to be learning along with you. So let's get into it and hope that it's not horrible. Alright, so let's see what we've got here. Main broker window. So it's showing you how much cash you have in the top left. So I've got $17,500. There's a search box here. There's a flag that I can tick which says usable by me. So presumably if I turn that off yes it's refreshed the main list here if I have that on <clears throat> I'm going to assume that it means that um, anything that comes up there I can actually wear so that's a nice handy little filter to have straight away because obviously without it there's going to be a bunch of stuff in here that I can't use so that's great we'll turn that on then of course we um, have it split up much like auction houses in other games where we can either um, set the flag to all which at the moment is going to show me every single thing that's on the auction house and we'll uh, looks like oh yeah okay we've got pages there we'll get to that in a minute or I can filter it by just armor so that is now showing me all armor um, and uh, when I clicked on armor it actually expanded below it um, a whole bunch of subcategories so let's say for example I'm looking for something for my shoulders I can just click on shoulders and as you can tell it's narrowed it down so that's quite good automatically to anything that is usable by me and anything that is a shoulder so all of these here I'm going to assume that I'm actually going to be able to equip and use myself now obviously when I hover over the item itself it's going to show me on the left there as you can see it's changing 
on the left it says what it is, um, what level it requires, whether or not I've collected that style, and, and in this case I haven't, uh, plus its stats and its vendor value, which in this case is $250. Um, in this window here, over on the right, it's obviously got the name of the item. Uh, it's also showing the level, the time remaining on the auction, and it looks like they've adopted the WOW um, descriptions of probably long, very long, medium and short, I'd say. And of course, the auction price. Now, what it doesn't show at this point, I'm clicking on it, is the name of the seller. So that's yeah, that's interesting. I find that very handy in other games because there you can you know become to well you you end up trusting certain sellers that you recognise. Or for example, if um, you know one of my friends or guildmates had put something on here and I wanted to buy it off them because, for example, here there's three necro lords enchanted shoulder guards. I don't know which one of these would be my guildmates if they'd put one up. So yeah, it's a bit of a pain. Never mind, then up the top here we've got a sort field and we can sort it by ascending or descending name, ascending or descending price, duration and level. Um, so that's not going to help us much in this case because there's only three items there. Let's see if we can choose another category. So here we go, here's another category and by default it's sorting it by name. Now another thing to note is what we've got here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we've got 10 items on the page. I would expect to be able to roll my mouse wheel down and um, scroll down a list but instead it would appear that there's a page left and right button in this case there's only one page of items but anyway what I can do is I can sort that by um, price if I wish and I've set that to price ascending so it's going to ignore things like level and it's going to instead sort it by price so as you can see here at the top of the list it's got something that's worth $300 and that goes up and up and up $1,000, all the way up to $10,000 at the bottom of the list. I can also sort it by duration. So obviously now I can see at the top of the list which items are going to uh, expire from the auction house soon. They're set to short. And I was right, there's a medium there as well. Uh, or we can of course um, order it by level. So now the top item is a level 6 item, 12, 20, 26, right up to 30. So that's not bad. I mean, combination of usable by me, a uh, type of weapon, so in, uh, sorry, type of item, and within each type we have um, specifics. So for example, let's go to weapon, and yes, as expected, it's now sorting them by the different weapon types, so bow, staff, two-handed, brawling, etc., etc. In my case, of course, we are hand blast, so we can set that to hand blast. Then we can come over here and say sort it by price, in ascending price. So I've got the cheapest ones at the top uh, and the most expensive ones at the bottom. And at the bottom right here you can see now that I'm paging uh, between the lists of 10. So you can't scroll, you have to actually page down. Um, if I wanted to see that by level, I could just simply set that to level and perhaps send it to level, to set it to level descending and now that's just going to show me the level 30 stuff at the top of the page irrespective of the price um, and because I'm level 30 that's going to be of use to me because I'm probably not going to be too interested in anything like this at the bottom which is level 25. Um, another thing that we can do, let's go back to another category um, by the way I'm clicking on that um, major heading again to collapse that tree um, let's go to armor, let's go to head uh, I'm selecting by usable uh, I can actually click on an item and I can buy it of course but I can also preview it so if we click on preview wow look at that that is awesome Whew. okay that's a necromancer style I didn't even know that there was a necromancer style in the game um, so that's shifted us to a preview window so we can actually see it equipped on our character and you'll also notice that it's with our um, own particular color scheme so that's very handy uh, presumably I can cancel that and then choose another one and click preview Wow dandy's dashing hat okay so already as you can probably tell I'm gonna have lots and lots of fun going through all the different styles here trying to find the ones that I haven't collected and of course the other great thing about this game is because I'm probably going to be wanting style over stats 
I can actually set it to price because for example you know here's something that's only uh, level 21 so stat wise it's probably no use to me but because it's set to price ascending it's going to show me all the cheapest ones at the top and if I preview this um, okay in this case I have already collected it but if I hadn't collected that style um, I can purchase it regardless of the stats just because it's cheap because I want that particular style so for example here is Dandy's Dashing Hat it's worth 450 bucks it's a style I don't have it I know straight away that I want to buy that well let's have a look at this dastardly top hat alright that looks the same uh, and it's cheaper dread horned helmet alright I definitely definitely want that so that's 250 bucks let's hit buy comes up with a confirmation uh, purchase the dread horned helmet for 251 bucks yes thank you very much your item should arrive in the mail okay so that's how it's delivered to you in the mail um, let's have a look at this here preview I do not have that hat I want that hat so I'm going to purchase that hat for 400 bucks yes please there it is it's that simple um, another thing to note as well whoops there we go we're out of time I'm by the way I'm trying to be good and keep these as close to 15 minutes as possible into the future uh, just like we used to in the early days had a couple of complaints that people were saying these were getting too long obviously if we run an instance that may go over but I'll try and keep these episodes to 15 minutes again um, so we'll wrap it up in a second but there's one other thing I wanted to show you in here and that is that we've got consumable collections and style so for example you can filter uh, the items by style which is great so let's take something like chest something that's usable by me um, and you know these items here um, are literally just a style item so as you'll see over on the left hand side they've got absolutely no stats they are simply a style uh, and if I preview it once again it's going to show me there's a very he-man looking um, boob tube I guess let's have a look at something else maybe okay there's hairs here there aren't any items on there but that's interesting heads there's a skull mask there let's preview that alright so that's actually you probably can't see that on the YouTube video but once again it's not an item with stats it's actually just a style item let's have a look at the shoulders nothing there chest we saw that um, trench coat what does that look like all right it is actually a trench coat um, not only that but of course there are other categories here there's collections so um, you know that's a great thing I don't know what this is our love has matured and grown I don't think we're going to be able to preview these no so these are obviously collection items so it's good to know that we can you know if we're really struggling to find them uh, out in the world we can actually pick, pick them up here and there's also consumables so presumably these are yeah so there's things like cola um, I don't know what sassy is <laughs> I think they're probably something to do with the Valentine's Day um, events um, and look at these there's some that I can't buy this is the other thing they're color coded and it looks to me like they're color coded by whether or not I can afford it so all of these things remember I have now sixteen thousand eight hundred dollars if we look at something that's worth um, $25,000 it's red so it's sh I presume that means simply we can't buy it this orange one I guess means that it's like half my um, cash value so it's a big investment I'm assuming that I don't know that for sure um, so yes yeah, styles collections armor weapons um, it's all there look I've heard a couple of people complain about the auction house and that it's filtering isn't very good I mean look I must admit having to page through through like this is a bit painful um, what is that a Metropolis Eagles Jersey goodness me says so obviously um, lots and lots to do here in terms of looking through all the items that are available in the game because suddenly um, you know I'm going to be able to see things that I just simply haven't come across in the, the game itself uh, so it's going to be lots of fun but you know these filters here um, you know being able to drill it down into you know particular areas um, and then being able to sort it by price name duration of the auction or level I think is quite good what I haven't even touched on here is an advanced panel so that's this um, down here in the bottom left I can actually 
um, feel, if, wait a minute, we'll go to the all view, so this is uh, relevant. I can actually sort this by role. So for example, you know, if I wanted to only um, look at things that were going to help me being a tank, that's going to filter only tank items. Um, I might want to only look at epic rarity um, or legendary and there's, I was going to say there's probably no legendary or artifact items on here but you know if I'm not interested in anything uncommon I can just set this filter to epic and it will only show me um, epic things and yes you can preview those and then finally the origin of it as well so in other words what sort of class of character am I am I a magic class am I a meta class or am I a tech class and of course that all depends on your mentor in the game in my case my mentor is Wonder Woman so I would be magic um, so um, and also by the way uh, looks like we can type in the actual name so let's look at something here we've got something called divine hand wraps of the goddess Isis okay so let's reset all these filters and test that see if it works so I'm just going to type in there the word divine and hit search and see what comes up. Yeah, well that works fine. There they go. Divine hand wraps of the goddess Isis. Let's type in Isis and that worked as well. So like I said, I'm not a big fan of these pages um, and I don't like the fact that you can't see who the seller is but a combination of all of these filters with a sorting mechanism um, I actually think that's okay I think you'll be able to find hone in and narrow in on what sort of thing I wanted to find pretty quickly so for example if I wanted a level 30 shoulder piece of epic um, rarity um, then I could pull, pull that up pretty quickly I'd say one more thing before we go and because we're well over time now is at the very top here where obviously we're in the browse screen there's also a my wares screen so this is obviously where we get to add our own items I will cover that off in the next episode so that we don't go on too long and we'll see what that interface is like um, plus we'll go and try and find where the respecking terminals are so we can begin that process too so a little bit boring no action today but um, as promised uh, we did want to go through the auction house check out the interface see what it looked like see if it was good bad or indifferent I think it's actually okay uh, I may change my mind in the future as I try and find things and can't who knows um, but for now that's probably it we'll come back and uh, hello Gloriana that's a very cool outfit you've got there uh, we'll come back and check out what the selling interface looks like on here so until then it's goodbye from me Sambo and Blaze Purple hope you're having a great day we'll see you later bye bye